Welcome back. I'm Keegan Cooper. The Northern Michigan Wildcat hockey team was back on the ice tonight to close out the series with the St. Thomas Tommies. Let's head to the Barry and check out the action. Now, goalie Benny Halaz in between the pipes again for the Cats tonight after a 3-2 win on Friday. We go to the late first period. Tommies on the attack, and Liam Malquist finds Lucas Wallen. He finds the net, and the Tommies lead one to nothing. Now, Tommies with the puck again, but Mativ Kavanaugh has the takeaway here. A chance for the Wildcats, but Jake Seibel has the save, and the Tommies still on top one to nothing. Late second period we go. Wildcats on the power play. Andre Gantus with some nice moves. Gets the shot past Seibel, but hold on, hold on. Referees go to the box to review it. And NMU fans are not happy as the goal is called back. Tommy still have the one nothing lead. Now, just a bit later, Wildcats still on the power play. Kevin Marks Norin shoots. It bounces off. Gantos is there and stuffs it home. And the Wildcats even things at one apiece. Now, the tie doesn't last for long, though, as Tommy's Cooper Gay gets the breakaway shorthanded goal to elevate uh, Tommy's to a 2 1 lead. Now, St. Thomas would add another in the third and walk away with a 3-1 win to split the series. Here's head coach, Grant Patoni. When you score one goal, it's hard to win. You know what I mean? Um, had we not given up another one, I would have said yes. Had it been a 2-1 to one game. Um, you know, the third one, it's just, it can't, it's just, it can't go in. We, we gotta find a way. I mean, we gave up 24 shots. You know, it's, it's a pretty good night. Um, but, that being said, we've got to find a way to score more than one goal, too. Well, the Cats are now 8-12-2 overall. Their next series on the road January 26th and 27th as they will take on Minnesota State. Up to Houghton we go now. The Michigan Tech Huskies also back in the ice against the Bemidji State Beavers. Now a slow start to the evening, but a Husky shot here blocked by Beavers goalie Matthias Scholl and sent to Adam Flamang. Fomain looks for it, and he's got it with Kirkland Irie. Bemidji up by one, eight minutes into the first period. Now, a little handoff coming up here between Eric Polkamp and Eric Martin. And just before the puck is sent to Lighten Road for a swift flick past Blake Piedla, Beavers up two to nothing as they head to the second period. But fast forward to late in the third. Huskies make it interesting. Their first goal, quick pass from Max Coscoperti to Jed Piedla. Piedla. It falls short, but Tyrone Bront is there to save the day. And now with seconds to spare in the third, the Huskies come in hot. Matthew Campbell to Isaac Gordon, back to Campbell. He shoots past Scholl's shoulder, score tied at two, and enters overtime. No goals in overtime. The Huskies would fall short to the Beavers in a shootout, two to one, but still come away with a point from the weekend on this game. I thought we played well. You know, I thought for the entire game, um, I thought the guys pushed. Uh, they kept battling back. I thought the mood on the on the bench was excellent. The leadership obviously was was good in between periods to keep us going. We, we stole a point tonight. You know, that's anytime you you know you coming back uh, against a good defensive team and uh, down two nothing going in the third and come back and tie it and um, you do a good job. Well, the Huskies are now 10, 10 and five, and we'll head to Lake Superior State for their next series against the Lakers. Now shifting to some high school hockey scores. Hancock gets a win over Granville tonight, 4-2. to two. And Houghton, a tie against Northville, 1-1. One to one. And also in high school hockey, one more score for you. Grand Rapids Christian gets the win over Manistee, 5-2. to two. But shifting to girls basketball now, some makeup games on the weekend and some regularly scheduled games. Escanaba picks up a win over Hancock, 49-30. to 30. And Ishpeming, a big win over Gwynn, 70-33. to 33. Some other big news for Ishpeming. Janet Mackey had 19 points and eclipse the 1,000 point, point mark. A big congratulations to her on that accomplishment. Also in girls basketball, Harbor Springs picks up the win over Sault Ste. Marie, and Menominee downs Mio 57-49. One more high school girls basketball score for you. Frankfurt gets the win over St. Ignace 59-45. And a few college basketball scores for you. Northern Michigan and Michigan Tech both in action today. Northern Michigan gets the win over Parkside 83-76. Michigan Tech a win as well over Purdue Northwest, 63-51. And in men's basketball, Northern Michigan edges Parkside. This one down to the wire, 61-58. But they made some free throws to get the job done. That's 11 in a row for the Wildcats. Purdue Northwest edges out Michigan Tech down the stretch, 79-70.